Let's read from God's Word as we turn to John's Gospel, to chapter 16 of this uh, book. And we're going to read from verse 5 uh, through to verse 24. Jesus is continuing his conversation with the disciples as they make their way along to the Garden of Gethsemane. And so Jesus says to them, and this is God's word, verse 5, But now I go away to him who sent me, and none of you asks me where are you going. But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin, because they do not believe in me. Of righteousness, because I go to my Father and you see me no more. Of judgment, because the ruler of this world is judged. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you things to come. He will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. All things that the Father has are mine. Therefore I said that he will take of mine and declare it to you. A little while and you will not see me. And again a little while and you will see me because I go to the Father. Then some of his disciples said among themselves, What is this that he says to us? A little while and you will not see me. And again a little while and you will see me. And because I go to the Father. They said therefore what is this that he says a little while. We do not know what he is saying. Now Jesus knew that they desired to ask him. And he said to them. Are you inquiring among yourselves about what I said a little while. And you will not see me. And again a little while and you will see me. Most assuredly I say to you. That you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice, and you will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will be turned into joy. A woman, when she is in labor, has sorrow because her hour has come, but as soon as she has given birth to the child, she no longer remembers the anguish for joy that a human being has been born into the world. Therefore, you now have sorrow. But I will see you again, and your heart will rejoice, and your joy no one will take from you. And in that day you will ask me nothing, but assuredly I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be full. We're going to end our reading at that verse. We pray that God would bless his word to our hearts this day.